BetJI is a Cambridge-based artificial intelligence lab, and it is building an open source network to enable autonomous software agents to perform useful economic work on behalf of individuals and businesses and organizations. So Humayun Sheikh is with me, the founder and CEO of BetJI, and great to see you again. Always hearing about what you're doing, because it sounds like cutting edge of the future. So if you could give me an update, what's the latest with BetJI? The, the latest is that we are starting to open up now trials. We are actually uh, putting out uh, the technology in the real world, and we're trying to start doing trials in uh, different verticals, uh, mobility. Uh, we're looking at smart infrastructure. Um, we're looking at connecting um, different components of for example, ride hailing uh, supply chain. So we're deploying these solutions now. So we are coming to a point where we're bringing the technology from the lab out onto the real world. Okay. And I remember the last time we talked, you were talking about parking in particular and how you were using data and artificial intelligence to help people find parking places, to help cities um, maximize spaces. And um, I mean, it was really fascinating. It was a much more efficient use of that, of that, than what we're currently seeing. Yeah, um, I, I think. Um, well, I mean, based on our last video, we got a lot of interest from people um, who were trying to understand really what what is it that and how is it different to the world that is today. So, what I'd like to do is take a little bit of time to just lay out the the architecture for you, so that people can understand uh, more um, how. how how our technology actually enables it, it's an enabler it's an enabling technology which can enable you to bring agent-based systems into the world and you can deploy it without actually trying to build the the architecture the infrastructure of it it's like saying well how do you deploy a website without having internet so you know that's it's the the this the kind of the internet bit which is what we're trying to build for multi-agent systems so if you think about um you want to give autonomy to different devices so they can actually feed you data they can actually transact with you they can connect to you um that's all great but how do you do it where do you do to connect them together and and the problem is that that doesn't exist and because it doesn't exist um you know, somebody has to build it and Fetch is uh, building that. So what that enables you to do is to deploy different use cases, different businesses, um, different commercial applications in a completely different way, uh, which is more based on the agents. And what that does is it improves the efficiency because you're not you're not reliant on these uh, monolithic solutions. What you're doing is you're actually granularizing uh, completely the service, um, the data, the connectivity. And what that does is it enables you to connect many to many. And that's really um, what, what the, the whole thing is about. So we talked about parking, but you're also doing some work with hotels or hospitality industry. How does that work? Yes, it's 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 very much. You have to you have to look at it. What is it that um, the the architecture brings, and then you'll see there's many use cases for this technology. So um, if you look at parking, what we do in parking is you have a parking spot. The parking spot connects with your car and actually gives you a rate, and you negotiate. You book the parking spot. You you take the. Um, the intermediary from out from the middle, and by intermediary, I don't mean just the business, I mean the technology, which is, you know, there's this monolithic technology sitting in the middle, you know, which kind of finds all these things and connects you with all these things. What we're doing is we're saying, okay, you could give autonomy to both sides. So in, in case of hospitality, for example, um, if you have hotels who have agents who can actually book um, and advertise themselves, um, the consumer can actually uh, connect with them using their agents. You don't need a, a middle aggregator, somebody in the middle to actually make that connection. Um, the problem is you can't do that unless you're able to find each other. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's like you need that kind of Google type of thing if you want to find websites. Yeah. So we can kind of doing the role of like a Google in the middle to connect the agents together. Okay, uh, very interesting. And then, so what other applications or how are you bringing this to market? I know you're testing it, but then what is after that? 
Yeah, so um, the, the, the core um, problems we want to solve is um, uh, smart uh, infrastructure, because smart infrastructure involves um, quite a wide range of applications. So with smart infrastructure, you could um, you can communicate with um, with the roads, so which can help the autonomous mm -hmm. driving. You could um, connect with multiple um uh, multiple entities so it can help supply chain you can actually bring uh, different uh, connectivity between different uh, businesses you could actually bring in uh, much more uh, efficiency in how we order things now now rather than going through intermediaries you could be connected directly so um, what we want to do is really open up and show people what the technology is capable of doing. And then we would like to invite people to kind of build and deploy new solutions. Okay. And then the collective learning product, what is that? So if you, if you, if you think about agents doing transactions together, and if you think about, um, you know, let's take an example, for example, uh, on the parking side as well. Um, you have you have multiple parking places and they are all communicating with each other and they, they're building these trends and they, these trends are currently residing with the business who owns the, the parking. But what you are now enabling them to do is you're enabling different parking places to actually build a machine learning model between themselves so they can make much better predictions for the agent so because the agent needs to have intelligence they need to have knowledge they need to have predictions and the, the models which exist the collective the, the the machine learning models which exist they are very based on uh, again uh, a monolithic kind of uh, business approach or a technology approach you can't actually you know just use a machine learning model to provide to the agents and actually get a response uh, from the agents you need to build those models on in a collective manner so the so the participants of or the stakeholders in this whole ecosystem can actually build a model and the agents can actually use the model um, to do transactions more efficiently and more intelligently okay very always interesting when we talk Hamayan it's great to get an update so look forward to the next one yeah, we're quite excited now the deployment is coming so it's, okay it's we'll, get, we'll get an update uh, once these trials have some data and kind of see how they're working so it'd be great thank you so much Hamayan Sheikh founder and CEO of Fetch AI thank you catch you later.